The fact that you've been able to do this for two decades now to continue supporting a cause that's near and dear to your heart, just what does that mean for you? It's just amazing. Like every time I walked in tonight, first time, it just blows my mind away. And it's like, you know, last couple of weeks, especially of trying to work on some final touches to get this ready and then to see everyone turn up and show up and support. It's just, uh, it blows my mind away every year. When you see this organization continue to pay it forward for kids in Northeast Indiana, uh, just how much of a full circle moment is it for you knowing you were part of this organization yourself? I mean, that's the, the passion of it, you know, where me obviously being a little is why this became an easy kind of charity for me to start up. And the fact like when we started, they were just getting no sponsorship money, you know, as they were like our own little chapter. And then every dollar stays up in this area. And now we're known as like literally across the country, one of the best chapters in, uh, in the U.S. Well, you being a former big man yourself for Purdue, you got to enjoy a little special run by the Boilermakers this past season, making it all the way to the national championship. What was your, or I guess, what did you enjoy the most about seeing this Purdue program who has had some great teams in the past finally be able to get over that glass ceiling and get to the final weekend of college basketball? Uh, I mean, it was the biggest turnout support. Like, that whole area was just boiler up nation. And I mean, every bar was packed, overflowed, like, and just, you know, it was one of those, it's kind of like being a Cubs fan. You always got close and it's like, get to the World Series, like, oh, I gotta go. And everyone showed up and uh, I mean, the support was insane. And obviously that team made uh, everyone proud to do what they did. How much more special is it for you just knowing you were a part of that program and uh, just to see it continue to evolve the way that it is today? Oh, I mean, it's a big man factor. I was kind of surprised this 7 9 guy going to Florida didn't get to Purdue. You know, I don't know how they recruit, but I was like, man, there's a 7 9 guy. He seems like he should just come to Purdue. You know, that's what we do there. And uh, evolved from a 6 11 guy to 7 5, 7 6. Um, but it's a fun, you know, they're obviously doing it the right way. Uh, they play Purdue basketball still. How much do you think your experience at Purdue would be different if NIL was a thing uh, back in your college playing days? Well, I wouldn't have to take a college loan to pay bills, <laughs> you know, and have to repay it. So that would have been nice. But, uh, you know, it is it's a part of the game now. And, and you know, certain people, there's a quarterback and receiver at Colorado State say, like, oh, I just, we each turned down 600K to stay here where we're comfortable. It's like, it'll balance itself out in a way. But, you know, I'm happy for kids to get it. I mean, I was literally had like 362 bucks a month I was supposed to live off of at Purdue. So I'm like, yeah, I didn't have electricity sometime, you know, so it's like the basic things. All the, I mean, they make them work year round now. I mean, they're down there summer camp. So it's a nice, you know, once they figure out the true balance, but either way, I'm definitely for it. No, absolutely. Uh, kind of shifting gears a little bit. You know, professional basketball is coming back to Fort Wayne with the UBL and you're going to be involved with this being a coach with the Fort Wayne team coming here. So. How exactly did this opportunity present itself for Fort Wayne to not only get professional basketball back, but for you to be a part of this team? Well, uh, my old teammate Ricky Davis uh, had a call last October, and like we got this idea, and um, his partner Chris that helped start up the league, the founders, and I was on the first Zoom call with like 30 of us and kind of hearing it. And at that point, I was planning to move back to Indiana, like so. I'm back here as an Indiana resident now, so. The timing of all that, the idea of basketball was something fun, like, well, I'll just help out. And then I was like, well, why don't I just try to coach it? Because the fall league is just guys that, you know, didn't have an opportunity possibly, or, you know, it's a, a chance for them. So I like the drive, the idea of those guys are going to have a lot of heart, and it's going to be a lot of fun to be, you know, be coachable and try to really impact some kids' uh, life, you know, really give them a chance to go forward. And this is kind of a base route. And then in the spring, we're going to have more of the pro team to kind of replace the Mad Ants. Um, so it's going to be just a lot of fun to be a part of bringing basketball kind of back to Fort Wayne. It's like a little side thing going on as well. To see, to see kind of like your basketball career kind of evolve into this fashion, just uh, I guess, what, what are you looking forward to? Or I guess, what do you feel like is going to be the biggest transition for you as you now get into coaching? I don't know. I, you'll have to stay tuned. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure at all. Like, um, I just told a couple of kids I drafted, like, I've never really coached, but I go, I got a strong basketball IQ and kind of be like a little Phil Jackson, um, a little this philosophy of life kind of deal. So we'll find out. I'm excited. Um, like I said a couple of two of the kids that I drafted will be here tonight to 
kind of experience because they're from Fort Wayne. So, you know, I'm excited to, you know, be a part of basketball back here. To bring pro basketball in some form or fashion back to Fort Wayne, just how much pride do you take in that? Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. Just, um, I have this, God, <laughs> tough day. It's a big day for me with this, now you're going to be basketball. Um, to bring it back to all the gyms that have closed in the south side, like hearing that, we're going to have a facility be more of a youth center. You know, get these kids that have enough in a, a safe place. So it's more than basketball. This is going to, there's a bigger mission here that I, I'm on a roll <laughs> the last couple of weeks, so then having to do Gallus hard, but um, it's a passion project for me. It's not a, it's not a go rich. It's not about making money. It's going to be the heart and soul of helping kids that have nothing around the south side have a safe place to be and we're going to pimp it out and then we're going to have pro basketball so there's just a this first chance to say it i guess and there's just a lot going on and so there's a lot of passion with this as well as my charity today